the truth is I have never changed the speed on this thing before I've owned it for probably 15 years and I never had any occasion to so I think I see how I go about it I loosen this there's a spring here and this is going to pull in so that I can loosen the belt let's see if it works as advertised considering it hasn't been moved in who knows how many years okay no we don't have one on the other side so it's just being stubborn however the belt is moving so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to go like this I'm going to take it clear off and then I'm just going to put it on here come on spring do your springing but then you can also put a fan belt on like that now we'll push this thing out to get the belt good and tight and let's see what we get again I've never done any of this before so we're learning all this crap together isn't this fun let's see what it's doing I don't know how that happened, but suddenly it's going through through the wood. So something definitely moved. Because it's not supposed to be doing that. Well, you know what? how deep it's supposed to be. I don't know why it moved. Let's try this again. This is why we do testing. Okay. I think I'll start over here this time. said not bad for a first effort we got a little bit of inconsistency there again I'll have to figure out why that happened but this is going to work and this is why we practice we are all set up to begin work on our second practice block here. I'm going to try something a little different. As you can see, I already 
marked out the dimensions for the pocket. So I'm going to start from here and I'm going to try and do it a little bit at a time rather than going all the way down to my full depth of 13 16 and see how that does. So now I've mentioned before the other big problem I have is this drill doesn't have a lock on it. I cannot stop it from coming back up. So, I'm going to have to come up with a way to hold it down while I do the cutting. And I think I've got that covered. I came up with an array of little spacers here. They may look like sockets, but really, they're spacers. Take my word for it. Let's get started. Okay, that's going to be our depth. Wow. I have a feeling this is definitely going to go much more smoothly than the last one. Next spacer. And here we go. So far, so good. I think we're going to do this. It may be leaning a little bit to one side. It's hard to tell the way the shadow is. So I know it's not deep enough yet, but I'm going to go get that pocket 
and see how close we are. Okay. Oh. Oh, we are so close. Need a little bit more on this end. Okay. Come on, focus. Focus. Come on. You can do it. Okay. All right. Now it's sitting more level. And so we just need to go a hair deeper. Or I could actually do it like this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay. Like the proverbial glove. I think we got it. Let's take a look at the screw holes. See how close they are to the wood. You can't see it. We have a little bit of extra space there below the screw holes. But since there's no tension on these things, that doesn't matter. We have a success. And when I push the whole thing in, the screw holes are the screw holes are almost flush with the wood. So we win. <sighs> so it is time for the moment of truth. It's time to do this on the actual guitar body. <laughs> 